first of all i really appreciate you bringing that up to my attention that you like me thank you for liking me i, I don't know if that's savage or not but you're like i like you this is this and i was like you like me like i was genuinely shocked guys like i was gen kindness is very rare flirting is everywhere if you just only you touching him every time you cannot compliment somebody a guy without touching his, his shoulder without touching his face without touching his beard. you say a m a k a oh yeah yeah, me say open up your heart To the will of the Father, open up your heart To the will of the Father, open up your heart hey guys hey guys welcome to my podcast we are on episode three let's go let's get it are you kidding or what hey if you're new to the open up your heart podcast my name is amaka a m a k a a a a you already know you already know what's popping in your area today's video and podcast we're going to be talking about flirting versus kindness and this is something that i've seen a lot of people misunderstand i've seen a lot of people just go with the flow and think this guy's coming for me or this girl's coming for me and she is not before i get into the video please if you have not liked this video like it because you're gonna like it for sure i mean like don't you already like the topic so like this video right now if you're watching on youtube um make sure to leave a review after the episode if you're listening on any podcast episodes uh podcast vibes and um make sure to comment below after because i want to see your comments please thank you you guys are the best i just also want to say thank you so much for all the love on my last video about boundaries the comment section popped off boundaries video is the most listened episode on the podcast so far and i'm just like wow on the open up your heart podcast we have something called what's popping in my area and this is the segment whereby i tell you guys what's popping in my area at the current season of my life right now it is 9 12 a.m um i woke up at like 7 a.m and i was like i'm gonna record this video i'm gonna get this done um i actually recorded an episode three before prior to this a totally different topic and I mistakenly deleted the video because I thought it was an I thought it was another video in another file and so I needed a space on my laptop so I I deleted the file thinking it was another file and guys can you believe the worst part of it was I actually emptied out my trash because I needed a space on my laptop can you imagine that and so there is nothing I did not do to get back this episode 3 I did everything in my power in my might I prayed to God in his power in his might and you know i got this um i got this weird app whatever thing you know try to retrieve it back from my trash i called apple apple said they can't help me because it was on a hard drive not on their device um the app that i downloaded after i finished downloading it figuring out how to get the file and everything they told me i have to pay 130 dollars <laughs> did i see I was just like, guys, you're joking. <laughs> when I told my sister, she was like, eh, better go and re-record the video. Don't even waste your money. And so here I am re-recording again. Um, though the weapon may be fashion, <laughs> it will not prosper. <laughs> we will show up <laughs> on uh, Friday morning at 9 a.m. So that's what's been popping in my area. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's video of flirting versus being kind. And so I put in here in Google, I searched up, what is the difference between flirting versus being kind? And this is what they said. Flirting and being kind are two distinct social behaviors, although they can sometimes overlap or be misunderstood. So this is already telling us that like a lot of people misunderstand these two things, right? And so they said the first thing is intent. Flirting often involves showing romantic or sexual interest in someone with the intention of potentially pursuing a romantic or sexual relationship. While being kind is generally 
about showing empathy, compassion, and consideration for others without any specific romantic or sexual intentions. And so being kind is, you know, generally showing empathy, compassion, and consideration for others. But you know the the slippery slope here? You know, the gray line here is a lot of people actually look at these things as like empathy is showing consideration as like, um... You know this person might like me and i think they like me and all these things and all that stuff and so i asked a couple of my really good friends you know how would you tell if someone's being kind to you versus flirting with you and like is this something you've been through and all these things and a lot of my friends that i asked and my cousins that I asked they actually said they, they said this they all said the same thing in different ways but they pretty much said flirting when the person isn't is always from the other person's point of view So they're saying that if someone thinks I'm flirting with them and I'm not, then it's always their fault. It's not my fault, which which I think is really which I think is really true because I have been through that situation multiple times. I actually remember this one guy coming to me and he kind of based off his whole reason why he liked me on like you know he was like oh like I like you and this is this and that and I think we're gonna be great together um because we both kind of walk in the same purpose and i think you're going to add a lot of value to what i bring to the table and i think you're going to add and i think um i'm going to add a lot of value to what i think you bring to the table and then they went ahead to to talk about all the things i've done and so they were like oh you do this for me you check up on me you do this for me you do this did this and all these things you know and i am sure you don't do this for anybody else and this this and I was just sitting there and I said, first of all, I really appreciate you. And I'm just being real. This is how I actually spoke to a person. And I said, honestly, first of all, I really appreciate you bringing that up to my attention. Now you like me. Thank you for liking me. I, I don't know if that's savage or not. But I literally said, thank you for liking me. But you know what? I don't feel the same way. Um, actually, I like someone else. That's what I told them. In that season, I like someone else. But um, thank you thank you for liking me (laughs) and then i went ahead to tell them that you see every action that you actually just brought out of empathy compassion you know me reaching out me checking up on you and your heart season and everything it was never from a place of flirting it was never from a place of like i like you and this is why i'm doing this in that way i do like you as a person but not in the way that you thought and so um thank you so much um but that's not the way i'm feeling and this is just who i am as a person you know i'm just naturally outgoing i'm just naturally empathetic you know if someone tells me they're going through a hard time or whatever like i'm gonna check on you i'm gonna see if you're good you know but i don't have any feelings or whatever towards you in that way and so that was a situation where like you know the person was like oh my gosh like i'm so sorry like oh my gosh i feel like i'm gonna you know the guy just you know they're like (laughs) they're like oh my gosh i'm so sorry you know and they kind of try to almost make a whole thing out of it i'm like it's it's fine like thank you for bringing that to my attention but that's just who i am and i think it doesn't have to be something where it's awkward and it can be awkward so i'm not gonna say it doesn't have to be something where it is awkward it can be awkward when you're the person sharing your feelings and sharing how you feel and how you like that person and you know their actions and then the person's like no <laughs> reverse <laughs> sorry child i know it can be awkward it can be embarrassing um i don't think i've ever been in that situation where i looked at someone's behavior and in my mind i was like oh like you might like me in this way in that way honestly i am that person that i'm black or white like if you don't tell me you like me i'm not going to actually think you like me even though you're doing all these things for me like i've had guys on my instance who have said oh you know like i like you this 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 and i'm like you like me i remember one of my really good friends and they were at that time they were like yo like i like you this is this and i was like you like me like i was genuinely shocked guys like i was genuinely shocked and they were like yeah like don't you see what the things i do for you don't you see how i go out my way if you need something this as i <laughs> i'm sorry but like wait what and they started least listing out all these things and for me like i i'm just gonna say i am b be- i i just like for me i was really shocked because i was like this is how people treat me like i genuinely am that person who is treated like a princess like i'm treated like a queen that i am you know my guy friends really do a good job of treating me well i'm just gonna say that so when i do see that like when and i was brought up in a household where i was and i am being treated like 
you know honorably respectfully like you know like my like whatever i say is being like taken at like a high esteem if that makes sense so when a guy is trying to you know kind of riz me up or trying to make me feel you know a certain way if he's not clear and if he's not saying like hey i like you and that's why i'm going out of my way to do these things for you or buy you a gift for your birthday or whatever people buy me so many gifts for my birthday so if you're trying to if you're trying to riz me up <laughs> you're gonna do more than that because like people and i'm not even boasting like literally like i am being taken very care of in that way and so if you're not clear i i don't read between the lines because i am also very kind i go out of my way for people i would send you money if you need it like if you like are that friend who's like hey like i'm really doing this that's just who i am i'm just trying to build that that um that case in that way i'm not you know trying to show off or whatnot but it is very clear so if you are not clear to me and say hey amaka i like you and i want to pursue a relationship with you or hey amaka i like you and i want to see where this goes or hey amaka if you don't tell me that stuff i am not reading the, anything in between the lines so the first way you can know if someone flirting versus being kind with you is communicating right communicating and say hey like this is how i feel you know you're doing these doing these things for me you know are we good are we friends do you like me that kind of stuff like if you can like i mean there's not everybody not everybody can gather up that courage but if it's something that is giving you slipper sleepless nights if it's something that you're thinking of and you're like you know meditating on and you can't sleep you sleep you dream about them all those things that people go through please go and ask the person do you like me communicate but the second thing in fact, before communication is you have to read the room. You have to read the room and see, is this person naturally like this? Because, for example, and I'm going to keep using myself as an example. For example, me. I am very outgoing and I'm an extrovert. I'm trying to make people feel comfortable. I'm a leader at my church. You know, I've been a youth leader at my church since I was 18 years old. My pastor trained me in the way whereby when service is over, this is what my pastor used to do when I was, when I was, um, when I was like 18, 19, he will call me, he will call me to the side and he'll say, Hey, Amaka, go and say hi to that person. Go and say hi to that youth. Go and say hi to that family. I see a youth there because I was being trained to be a youth leader. And so I am naturally trained. It's ingrained in me, guys. I will say hi to people. Even if I just walk into a room and I don't know anybody there, I am that person who will go and shake people's hands and say, Hey, hi, how are you? Because I, that's how I was brought up in the church. You know, I was brought up in the church as that leader to or as that leader in training to go and say hi to people like you know my pastor will always be like you know don't just sit down there and see a new person go and say hi to that person so if you're catching feelings because oh this person came and they said hi to me you know they shook my hand they looked into my eyes those are the trainings that i have received when i was growing up as a as a young leader right so those little things so i i think the biggest thing also is looking at how does this person treat other people and are they treating me differently than other people and i think another thing is also seeing like okay for example if a guy is dropping you off at home and everything and you're like oh my gosh like he's dropping me off at home after church this is this for example my guy friends a lot of my guy friends they drop off people at home you know after service if they're having like a young adult service you know they will say okay i have a car i'm gonna give this person a ride i'm gonna give that person a ride so if you're catching feelings over guy friends and dropping you off after church please look around and see are they only dropping me off specifically and you know do i need to communicate that and ask or is this what they naturally do because they're leaders or because you know they're just kind and you know they're just good people like people can give you a lift people can carpool and not mean anything about it so i think the biggest thing also is looking around and seeing is this how they naturally are um, is this what the culture naturally is like? You know, because like, is this, is this what these people naturally do as a culture, as a community? You know, do they naturally just go shake people's hands, hug people, talk to people, ask them how their day was? Let's say, you know, let's say, for example, you know, you say, hey, Amaka, like, you know, I fell sick, you know, and the doctor gave me this report and everything, blah, blah all these things right and then i check up on you and i say oh hey how are you doing today you know i know the doctor's report said this 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 you know i'm praying for you i'm praying for you and let's say in the and and also in the eyes of that person let's say i'm the only person who's actually checking up on them right i understand that it can feel like you know in their isolation in their lowest moment you know amaka was checking up on me you know she probably likes me or you know i probably like her and you can catch feelings in that way because of that you know i'm the only person checking up on you you're the only person there and so in that way 
way I understand where that person is coming from. But then again, I say always communicate, always ask, you know, because that might just be the culture. That might just be how the person is, you know, communication, asking, reading the room to see, because a lot of times when people are saying, I'm catching feelings over this and that the person might not be in that way trying to do that right my friend my good good friend emmanuel i was talking to him about this before i jumped on this episode because i always try to talk to my friends about episodes before i do them just to see people's mindset and just to see people's mindset if that makes sense and so there's something he re- he said that was really good and he said kindness is very rare flirting is everywhere so he was like i understand how somebody might catch feelings in that way but it's always good to guard your heart right don't just be catching feelings easily just because someone's doing one two three four five six things and if the person is buying you bone straight hair buying you versace purse buying you expensive stuff it's like okay then now we're pulling the trigger of like sir do you want to wife me <laughs> do you want to put a ring on it <laughs> it's what i'm trying to know um you know but kindness is very rare and flirting is everywhere and so i see how someone can catch feelings in that way because it is a rare thing it is an, a rare act it is the fruit of the spirit that a lot of people don't have in, in this day and age where people are very selfish and they only care about themselves and so it's very important guys that we communicate we ask but yeah i just really like that he said kindness is very rare and flirting is everywhere it's just so <laughs> hmm in this life have friends that can't that can't that no words that that mm, mm, is giving what's meant to be giving i want to share a few things for people who are saying should i change because people have been telling me that i am flirting with them even when i'm being kind i think the first thing is to trace it you know you cannot just be in fact a pattern is after twice or three times if somebody has done something after three times that is a pattern so that's even telling me that if over three people have told you that your kindness is looking like flirting you have to check and analyze yourself you're not going to faint if you don't compliment everybody if you don't compliment every girl's nails if you don't compliment you have to trace it and say what am i doing you know and try to change it up it doesn't mean that you should not be kind but just try to look and see like what am i doing wrong what am i doing that i can be doing differently not wrong i will not say wrong but let me say what can you be doing that you can do differently be very self-aware don't just be that person that's like everybody's always mm, i don't know i don't care no don't be that person be very self-aware self-aware looks good on people i love it but this is the first thing i'll say be kind don't be rude don't change up you know your kindness but be self-aware and see you know and for also the person who is self-aware in the way of like i can tell when somebody's trying to you know raise me up trying to like me try to you know you know that stuff you know that stuff you know trying to make me uncomfortable just trying to flirt with me and you don't like it you don't want the attention in that way communicate you know be self-aware for me i remember when i was 16 years old 16 not 60 one six not six zero (laughs) because it sounded like i said six zero when i was 16 i came to the realization that a lot of my guy friends at the time used to say hi sweetie hi honey how are you today and they did not mean anything to it ha, i say you not you don't mean anything to that i just coming to me and you're telling me hi honey i had to tell all of them call me by my name in fact there was, there was this one guy that'd be like hey babe this is this i need this i need that and i told him until you say hey amaka or hi amaka i'm not going to answer you and that's how it stopped because honestly i'm just that girl and it doesn't mean i'm rude maybe that might come off as rude for some people but for me it looks like self-awareness because when i'm catching feelings for you and you're not catching feelings for me who you help who are you helping don't be sentimental about your boundaries remember episode two and if you don't watch episode two go and watch it because i cannot come and be telling you okay i've actually really switched to my nigerian right now i need to i need to relax relax. (laughs) just so everybody can understand what i'm saying but be clear about your boundaries you know, you, you don't have to say it in a rude way. For me, the guy was trying to be like, you know, mean and rude. And me too, I brought out my, my inner rude self and I said, please, like, honestly, I can't do this right now. I can't do this. And so be very clear about your boundaries. Be self-aware about what you like, what you don't like. I'm that girl. I know what I like. I know what I want. So when you're doing what I don't want, you go see what you know what. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, but yeah be clear about your intentions don't lead people on leading people on is not nice it's not kind it's not godly it's not scriptural don't lead people on when you don't have anything to give to them you know the the book of songs of solomon actually says in the bible uh don't awaken love until the time is right and so if you know that time is not right you're not ready to awaken love don't awaken it let the sleeping dogs lie or however they say that adage 
um i'm trying to also think of if there's anything else i have to say i want to say i also want to say this too for all my all my guy friends all my guy friends on your behalf i want to say girls if a boy is not your boy if a boy is not your boyfriend and you're always touching him you're always like if you, you if you cannot compliment him without you know touching him like this and say oh my gosh he looks so hot ah <laughs> Please, no one should do that to my husband or my boyfriend. I will, I will, I will bring scissors. I will help you to 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 mend your hands back to where it's meant to be on your body. Keep your hands to yourself, especially when you're not good friends with the person. When it makes them feel uncomfortable, don't do it. That's all I have to say. Because a lot of guys, they don't know how to like you know swift your hand away or just like throw your hand away. They don't want to be rude, and so they just be like, oh, let her just be touching me. Let her, you know, like I don't care. This, this, this should be all right. No. A lot of guys don't look at that as nice. They don't want it. They don't want you to touch them. Keep your hands to yourself. Unless the guy actually touch you back and like you guys actually have like this mutual thing. Then yeah. But if you're just only you touching him every time, you cannot compliment somebody a guy without touching his his shoulder, without touching his face, without touching his beard. I, oh god, I hope I've not spoiled my mic. I just mistakenly touched my mic. And so please keep your hands to yourself. On the behalf of the boys association, they told me to tell you. Keep your hands to yourself. If you're over complimenting somebody, you know when you're overdone it. You say, I like your beard, I like your hair, I like your this. Every girls, please just use your discretion. Let wisdom guide you, let the Lord guide you. Guys do not tell you because they don't want to appear rude, but use your sins. Sometimes we go around, we go around, know these things, you know. Like, just, just be mindful of it. You know, you don't have to overdo anything. Be kind. Share kindness. You know, some girls, they'll be like, that's how I am to everybody. There's some girls that they call everybody sweetie. Hi, honey. Like, I know one of my cousins that, like, she says, ah, hi, honey, to everybody. And, you know, and all of those things. And there's some people that are like that. But if you, and I also always say, if it makes you uncomfortable, it makes you uncomfortable. But if you also see that this is how the person is to everyone, no need to catch feelings. They don't like you like that. I'm helping you now no need to catch feelings they don't like you like that that's the end of today's episode my friend emmanuel in his own words he said in this kingdom of god if you are catching feelings for somebody over their kindness somebody i don't know who sang kill them with kindness i can't think of it but kill them with kindness he said kill them with boundaries <laughs> so guys stop catching feelings for people who are not catching feelings for you please stop it and read the room and communicate communication but yeah guys just come to the end of today's episode i've actually recorded this episode more times than i would like to and i would like to end with a prayer and i hope that this whole episode goes well and i haven't lost anything and i won't lose anything if i let's just pray right now god i just thank you for today i thank you for the privilege to be able to speak to your children all over the world oh lord i pray oh god that this episode will bring healing oh god to that person who has been turned down multiple of times to that person who is hurting to that person who might have built castles in their heads because it's not a sin to like someone <laughs> but um it is a sin to get led on and all these things oh god and so for that person who's hurting who thought that that guy would be her all in all who has walked down the aisle with someone who has not even said yes to them <laughs> and say they already said i do god i just pray lord you heal their heart because those feelings are real those hurt those hurt that they're feeling in their mind is real and in their chest is real and i pray lord that we'll just be people who guard our hearts above all else because out of it flows the issues of life help us to guard our hearts help us to be brave enough to communicate how we feel and how we want to be treated oh god help us not to be super shy and just be getting led on oh god help us to guard our hearts our minds in jesus name amen and amen but i thank you so much guys for listening to today's episode don't forget to like comment share subscribe leave a review comment down below have you experienced this what have you learned from this episode just comment below something comment don't just be listening and be taking without commenting write something for me thank you but yeah guys go into this week hyped excited and delighted i'll see you guys in my next episode let's go open up, open up, open up.